Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video I'm going to be talking about the Corsa B 1400 rally car that I've owned for 10 years plus. So behind me is the Corsa B. Uh, it's been my car for a very very long time now. Uh, I don't want to part ways with it. It's been fantastic. It's never ever let me down. Um, so I'm going to quickly go through a couple of bits. The type of rallying that I do is road rallying. Uh, road rallying is rallying throughout the night. Uh, it's not based on whoever's fastest, it's based on who can get the average speed the best. Um, you get sections, you get times, I think it's two minutes per mile, and then within that you have passage control, so you have to stop all the time, uh, get signatures to make sure you're going the right way. So it's like a one big treasure hunt timed. So it is really good fun. Uh, being in Wales, I've been watching them for years. I remember going to watch my first one when I was, I think, nine and I fell in love with the sport then. And I always vowed to say I will do it when I'm a little bit older. The first rally car I had was a 1600 Mitsubishi Colt. If I could get a picture now, I will. And then and after that, I got this baby and it's never, ever, ever let me down. So when I, it's, it wasn't like this when I first got it. It is this color, it has been this color throughout. When I bought it, it had a white cage with white wheels. Um, it didn't have the cross diagonal roll cage and it didn't have the harness bar. I've added them to it. We'll go inside quickly. Now with road rallying, you do have to keep it standard inside. It's like a standard production. So the headlining has to be there. The back seats have to be there. A carpet has to be in. You are allowed to do safety issues, i.e. bucket seats, harnesses, roll cage and so on. Uh, the spotlights are on the floor over there because the last event I did use, we it was a test day we did up in the location just up the road. There's a video of that on my YouTube. Um, so yeah, this is my car and I'm going to briefly talk you through what we've done and what it's got and everything like that. So stay tuned and cheers guys. Where better to start the video than the heart of the car in the engine bay? So as you can see, it's a 1400 eight valve Vauxhall engine, uh, standard as they come. I've fit, it came with the fitted induction kit, which I've kept on it. Um, it's not had much, too much done to it. I've got a lightning balance flywheel. Um, when I did get the car, after doing my first event in it, I stripped the whole thing down, painted the engine bay white. Obviously we're rallying throughout the night. It's hard to see if anything's wrong especially if everything's dark and the same color as the car so i had a brainwave to paint everything white which will make it reflect and show things up a little bit easier so not that long ago me aaron kian and tank a friend of mine we all stripped the wiring down because the wiring was a little bit untidy and we've redone the whole wiring of the car um also we fitted new fuel lines they come we've fitted braided fuel lines they go through the car uh, one of the main reasons I've fitted the fuel lines and the brake lines going through the car is on road rallies you do use sections of fields and there's sometimes a rock could clip it and stuff so I'm just avoiding all that by obviously feeding them through the car. We've got air horns fitted there. Uh, on a road rally you would see two big spotlights which are currently inside the car as I've showed you earlier. Uh, I put a strip brace on. Uh, that's really it for the uh, engine bay. It's quite standard. Uh, the fan's on a switch inside the car, so I don't have to worry about the car overheating. As soon as I get to the start of the stage, I uh, switch the fan on and leave it for the, like that for the rest of the evening. Um, suspension. I'm running Bilstein's B, Bilstein B4s with a forestry spring. I'll just get a torch. There we go. Bilstein B4s with a forestry spring just to lift the car up a little bit that does help uh, stopping power brakes i've got astra Vauxhall astra gt front brakes off the two liter so obviously it has the capability of stopping if needed uh, on the back i'm running still the standard drums with just a little bit better better brakes uh, i've got avo coilovers which will be getting changed before the next event uh, I've just purchased more Bill Steins to go on the back because uh, I'm changing the type of rallying I'm going to be doing. I'm doing some Targa events and to the Targas, these will be a bit too rough. I mean, there's no give in the suspension. It is solid. So I'm going to go for a forestry spec. Should lift it up a little bit and make it a little bit more flexible on the back. Uh, 
exhaust manifold. I've got a Sportex straight through system, which is a bit loud, but it does pass noise every time, thankfully. Uh, they're set uh, noise regulations for road rallying, obviously, because you are rallying through the night. People will be a bit annoyed if you've got big tin cans and massive exhaust everywhere. So now I'm going to take you onto the inside of the car. So, as it's production rallying, everything does have to stay standard. Inside, you can't modify massively. Uh, so you have to fit, keep your door cards on, which I've done. Headlining has to be in. When I did strip the car previously, I flocked the dash myself. Not the best job in the world, but I still think it's a little bit better than what it was. I put the RMD uh, deep dish steering wheel on. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Uh, Sparco bucket seats. And then you've got the OMP six point bolting cage. But I have added the cross diagonals and the harness bar. I'm not using the harness bar for the harnesses because I have got the proper hooks underneath the seat here. So yeah, um, moving on, I have my switch panel, uh, I've got the kill switch, so if I ever do any, go into an accident I've only got to turn that, so obviously the ignition will be on, and you just flick that and everything goes off, just in case an event of an accident. Uh, I have done a number of events with the car, and touch, touch wood, I've never had to switch that. Um, the fuel lines come in nicely through there, uh, navigator footrest. There's a clock. Well, let's see where we are at. If I turn that on again, turn that. Uh, navigator interior light. So on the road rallying, you pull it to a control and then you can flick the interior light on for the marshals to sign the board and then off you go. Uh, there's also an interior clock, which I'm just waiting for the switch to come for. So that'll be in the when it's finished video. <sighs> right then, trying to think what else. Uh, I am going to add some videos on this of the in-cars that I have done and some video footage of a couple of auto tests and a bit of fun that I've been having with the car. Now, I've had it for a very long time. Um, I've done about 12 rallies with it and it's, it's served me well. Um, they, they work out the road rallying in different classes. You've got beginner, novice, semi-expert, expert. expert. Um, I've been out, uh, well, you can go as a beginner until you win, uh, either win an award, which is first in class, or you can have two awards, which would be second and third in class, and then you move up to semi-expert, and then you're a semi-expert until you get a top 10 finish. Uh, I've just been outside that, I've had 11th, so I'm getting closer, but then again, well, after that I had kids, so I stopped using it for a very long time, uh, and then I went back out in 2008 and did three rallies with it and every single one I got a, a little trophy to come home with which was fantastic the, the memories and the the enjoyment you have from doing these rallying is uh, is brilliant and it's cheap it's not as expensive I think an entry for a road rally is about 80 to 100 pounds and you get about 80 miles of fun for that so the tires that I am have currently got in the car have been dated now so they are not allowed to be used again, so I'm looking for tyres again. Other than that, that that's, that's the rally car. So, I am hoping to get out a couple of times this year, and I will take YouTube along with me. Um, I understand this is not to everybody's taste. And I understand that my videos are not fantastic. They're not the best out there. But I do it because I enjoy doing it. Uh, so, thank you ever so much to everybody for the following so far. Um, yeah. This is just a little intro into the Corsa rally car and hopefully you'll get to see it soon doing some rallying and I'll take the camera along with me and film what I can. So thanks guys, thank you very much for watching and take care, see you soon.